Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Welcome back to John Sabal. I'm back with another reaction. This time, this time, the director for Mario Bros. Wonder. Peggy three. Oh my God! Oh my God! Welcome to the Flower Kingdom, a not so distant land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario and friends were invited it's here Florian. by the benevolent Prince Florian. But Bowser, the king of the Koopas, has no plans. With just a single touch of the mysterious Wonder Flower. Shit. Bowser merged with Prince Florian's castle. Oh shit. Thanks to his newfound power, chaos spread across the land. Now, it's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Kingdom. Yo shit. Not it! Not it! In this presentation, we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Let's Mario jump Party in. 9. But they gave us Charles. This is well. the Flower Kingdom. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles, making a total of seven areas to explore. Seven worlds. Your adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. Where's the ba ba? Once you get past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Flop Pop Peaks. Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery and the new cascades of shining falls. Traverse multiple islands. Dive into the sea hey. and spelunk through caves at the heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isles. There's also an arid desert with white sand as far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest lined with giant mushrooms. A scorching hot world full of molten magma and more. A rich oh, variety spike. of courses away in each world. From SMT4. Move around the map in each world to select a course. It feels like a cartoon. You can even walk freely through open areas you find. Oh my god, in these yes. Spaces, if you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. Play them in any order you like. Once you've played a course, you can quickly come back to it through the course's menu. It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. While in courses, you might know some talking not perfect, flowers. It's not gonna top Get close and bah, bah. upward. Get up here. What a pretty sunset. They'll talk to you, livening up your adventure. I wonder what Goombas taste like. They might give you hints. I wonder if you can get over there. Or coins. You share your water with me? Yeah. Besides, ah! you can also <laughs> play play it. It. Luigi. No one likes the toads. It should be Peach. Wario or Waluigi. Wario and Waluigi. Daisy. Yes. One of two toads mm. and Toadette. Ugh. They all play the same, so go with your favorite or mix it up. The Yoshi's and Nabbit, on the other hand, won't take damage. They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. Sockers. Careful though, they'll still lose a life if they fall down a pit. So watch your step. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. We play Mario World, so we know. Speaking of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. Mm. Hoppy cats will copy the player and jump when you jump. Oh. Uh. Melon piranha plants will spit seeds from their mouths. 
It's like a golden shouldn't I look condoms will apply at you and stick their beaks into your business. Con when conks attack, they'll even plow through goo. That's slime. Mumsies can be unraveled if you position yourself just right. Mamas will eat anything ah, God. close to their gaping mouths. There's like that big fish from Mario 64. As well. Goombas, Koopa Troopas, Boos, Locky Twos, and other Get familiar out. foes are also here. Oh god, here you go with the elephant. Next, let's look at the new power-ups you can find. In elephant form, <laughs> make the most of your noise <laughs> and your size. Swing your trunk to attack enemies. <laughs> Destroy blocks it's, and it's, even I know it's cursed, but it's actually awesome. in this form you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. See? If you store water in your trunk and spray it out, who knows what might happen? That trunk sure is useful, huh? It's not just Mario. Oh god! god. <laughs> the toes. Oh no. Peach. Daisy and Toad, <laughs> all the <laughs> well. The bubble cap is to blow light floating bubbles. They can be used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. Oh, oh god! They'll also drift toward nearby foes. Oh, guys! You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go. Defeat typically impervious foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. You can even jump off them. Like platforms. Hey! Bubbles make it a bit easier to get to those hard to reach places. Just like that. While in drill form, you'll get a pretty nifty drill. This makes dealing with spiky hmm. or hard headed enemies a breeze. Rocks. Or you can use it to drill down. So that's it also allows you to burrow and move through this. the ground. In a tough spot, dig away! You can even burrow into the ceiling! Oh! Whoa! I wasn't expecting company. Plus, the classic fire hey, makes fire you return. Flowers. Oh, and you can hang on to an extra power-up. Oh god, not elephants are that! Pinch, bust out a power-up! Or swap <laughs> out to hit the situation. Oh god. Wonder. This is a wonder flower. Okay. It grows in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power and release it when in bloom. That's the power Bowser was after. When you touch a wonder flower in a course, a wonder effect will trigger, causing some interesting changes. Uh, Pipes might start moving. A stampede of enemies can appear. Ah, oh God! The terrain may tilt. Oh shit! You can end up in a free fall. Hey! Bubbles might uh bubble up. What? Your perspective can change. What? What? Or sick. you might float through space. <laughs> there are even wonders where your character transforms. Mario might become a Goomba. Uh, it's like Mario Odyssey with cat Or a spike ball. Discount rock Mario. Or blow up like a balloon. I Mario 64 DS power up. Always expect the unexpected. Collect a wonder seed, and the course will return to normal. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. Alright. You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. Oh. Badges. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. There are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go over some of them. 
Slow your fall. Crap <laughs> troll. Enhance your wall jumping abilities with the wall climb jump badge. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the dolphin kick. kick badge. You can also break underwater blocks. Blocks. Charge up a bounding leap with the crouching high jump badge. <laughs> Shoot vines in midair and stick to walls with the oh, grappling like vine badge. Man, but it's with Recover vines. from dangerous drops instantly with the safety bounce badge. What? Easily find important items using the sensor badge. Draw in nearby moon and a magnet badge. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the invisibility badge. You will not stop dashing with the jet run badge. My bro thinks he's Naruto. There are many more badges with different abilities from what the, the hell? to the unconventional. Only one badge can be equipped per course. Equip them from the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Some badges can be earned games. by clearing special badge challenges. Except the way you and the, the look, put switch ports. While others can be purchased from poplin shops on the world map. Be sure to exchange flower coins you collect in courses for badges. Nice. Play together. Come on, it should be online. Up to fun. four people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch console. Pick your favorite character and yes. jump into the adventure together. Oh good if god. If the is defeated in local co-op, their character will float around the course as a ghost. If another player oh, reaches them before oh, time runs out, oh, they'll yes. jump right back into action. Your group won't lose mm. a life either. And just so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back. Uh, <laughs> of yes. Even if you're also playing as a Yoshi. Why well, Yoshi's running a Yoshi? Or if you're an this. elephant. Bruh. Yes, online play. If you connect online, you might see other players on the world map and in courses. These are people from around the world enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. Just like in local co-op, if you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Players can send greetings and share in-game items. Even though you won't be playing together directly, you'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure together. You can also place a standee in a course. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not so easy areas and help your fellow players. David. You can purchase standee surprises from the Poplin shops oh, to add nice more cool. to your collection. You never know which standee you'll get. Oh, good God. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Reviving ghosts, gifting items, Reaching the goal pole together, Black and more, pole. will earn you heart points. While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. Oh, In the shared room, friends. you can see which courses your friends are playing, well, enter play courses friends. together, and even race through up. certain courses. Start a race Ooh, by hitting the race touch. block. Then make a run for it. Again. Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a race, though. Is that in some you courses, one you'll need no. to grab a wonder seed or oh, defeat a boss instead. Yeah. Whether you're casually connecting with players from around the world or syncing up with friends for riveting races, you can enhance your it's experience in an with an online play. <laughs> Uh, Captain Toad. All oh, no, open. Oh. 
jump into the unexpected with Mario and friends. Right. When Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches on ah! the Switch October 20th. Plus, a new Mario Red themed <laughs> OLED ah! new console is also on the way. If you look closely, you'll find Mario and some hidden coins. Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition launches October 6th. Whoa! That was good! I'm looking forward to it again! Alright guys, that was it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, comment, like, subscribe, and turn the notification bells turned on. Until then, keep flaming your bloody legends! Whoa!